Hello, chefs. I'm Chef Arun, an associate professor with All India Sri Shivaji Memorial Society's College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today, we'll be learning about the glossary terms related to the alphabets H and I. So let's begin with the first technical term that is known as HACCP or the abbreviation stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point, a food safety system of self-inspection designed to highlight hazardous foods and to control food handling to avoid hazards. Hazard is having a food that can lead to food poisoning or as we say to a foodborne illness. That would be the first step. At the second step, you investigate of the hazard and identify the problem. The third step, we understand what steps need to be involved to overcome the issue. At the next step is controlling so that the problem does not arise. After which the final step is fixing up of the problem area by using a standard operating procedure or implementing a standard operating procedure so that the problem does not arise. The next term is HAIR, H-A-R-E, a furred game animal which is similar to rabbit with dark meat and the meat is lean. The next term is HASH. The first meaning is to chop. The second stands for a dish made of chopped foods. The next term is hazard, a potentially dangerous food condition due to contamination, growth of pathogens, survival of pathogens, or presence of toxins. This can occur due to wrong storage practices and many a times due to cross contamination. Herbs. As we know, herbs add value when used in the cooking process or chopped and sprinkled over finished products. They're available in fresh, dried and frozen form. The most common ones that we know are shives, rosemary, sage, tarragon, bay leaf, oregano, dill, thyme, basil, and coriander. The next term is hollandaise, which many of us are familiar to. As general, we say a sauce made of butter, egg, to be more precise, egg yolks, and flav flavorings, especially lemon juice. But to talk a little more into detail and explain the picture on the right hand side, we would say that is one of the classic mother sauce known to us as chefs. The next important part that we know is, is that it is a warm sauce and it is an emulsion made with eggs, melted butter and seasonings. To start with, we need clarified butter, which is whisked into the egg yolk, slowly, steadily. Care should be taken that it is beaten over a double boiler to avoid breaking of the emulsion. Mustard, salt, pepper, vinegar, or lime juice are used to season the sauce. Hollandaise sauce is termed as one of the most hazardous sauces. So we need to be careful with making of one. The next term is humini. Is a food produced from dried maize, that's corn kernels, that have been treated with an alkali in the process of nixtamalization. Lye creates a hard crust while the inside remains soft. The next term is homogenized milk that has been processed 
so that the cream does not separate out. Let's talk about the picture in which the first picture talks about raw milk in which the water and fat is not evenly distributed. In the second picture, which is the cold raw milk after one hour, the fat is floating towards the top and the third picture, you see that the fat globules are evenly distributed where it gets the word homogeneous. In this bottom picture, which updates us with the four reasons why homogenized milk should be used. The first one is, since the fat is dispersed evenly, cream does not gather on the top. The second one talks about the homogenized milk looks more appealing. The third states that it increases the shelf life almost up to 11 days. The fourth one talks about it always produces, it all allows producers to mix milk from different cows into one batch. The next term is congruas. Paprika is often associated with Hungary and is used prominently in several dishes. Like chicken, salads, and potatoes. Smoking, as a process of cooking in, in that terms, is a process of flavoring, browning, cooking, or preserving food by exposing it to smoke from burning of wood. Two types of smoking is available to us or known to us. One is hot smoking and the other is cold smoking. In hot smoking, the foods are smoked at a temperature high enough to cook or partially cook them. The temperature for hot smoking ranges from 52 to 80 degrees Celsius. Historically, farms in the Western world included a small building termed as a smokehouse where meats could be smoked and stored. The next term is hygroscopic, which means a substance which readily absorbs moisture. The main difference between absorption and ab adsorption is that the absorption is a process in which a fluid dissolves by liquid or a solid, whereas adsorption means that the atoms, ions, or molecules from a substance adhere to the surface of the absorbent. The examples include honey, glycerine, ethanol, methanol, concentrated sulfuric acid, and concentrated sodium hydroxide, which is a lye. The next term is infection, a disease including most foodborne diseases caused by bacteria. An infection generally occurs when a microorganism enters a person's body and causes harm. The next word is intoxication. Foodborne intoxication is caused by ingesting food containing toxins formed by the bacteria which resulted from the bacterial growth in the food item itself. These respective toxins result in variety of illnesses of the consumers. The next term is an induction cooktop. A type of cooktop that works by using magnetic energy to make pots hot without getting hot itself. To speak a little more about it, it is a cooking technique which uses magnetic energy to make the pots hot and helps in cooking of food. Now that would be in general terms. To put it more technically, a coil of copper wire is placed under the cooking vessel and an alternating electric current is passed through it. The resulting oscillating magnetic field 
wirelessly induces an electric current in the vessel. In an induction cooktop or a hob or a stove, a coil of copper wire is placed under the cooking vessel and an alternating electric current is passed through it. The resulting oscillating magnetic field induces an electric current into the vessel and that vessel turns into a medium to cook the food. We come to the end of culinary terms related to H and I. Thank you for your patient listening. These terms are referred from the book named Professional Cooking, the sixth edition by Wayne Gisley. The images have been taken through Google, Shuttershock, Dreamtime.com, Urban Epicurious, Encyclopedia Britannica, Inc. Thank you to them. Kindly attempt the quiz for better understanding of these words. For any queries and doubts, mail me on arunsherkr14 at gmail.com. Thank you again for your patient listening.